I'm glad to be here today uh, for the launch of this new book titled Democracy Works, Rewiring Politics to Africa's Advantage. I am very optimistic that having gone through this book a little, that readers will find it very useful. At the introductory section of this book, it's a conscious attempt to show the nexus between democracy and development. My assessment of this book is also the sense that if democracy has to be inclusive, then to sustain the democracy in Africa, we have to make sure that we try to get people more included as we proceed with the democratic experiment. That anytime people feel excluded, there is a threat to the survival of democracy. And this is why we need to pay attention to education, to health, to agriculture, to financial inclusion, um, even to identity, to the right to information, to macro stability, to jobs. These are the sort of things that will produce more inclusive democratic development. Um, we in Ghana have had experiences. We are now in our fourth republic, which means that first, second, third were, were basically stunted. And, and we had to get to a fourth republic. And this is the experience of um, many other countries in, in Africa. And we're, we are, we are, we're moving, and we hope the fourth republic has come to say, stay uh, and will be there uh, forever. Now let's, let's hope our, our particular experience. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure we include everybody in this development process. That if you are developing a country for the democratic institutions, which are so important to survive, inclusiveness must be there and that is why you have to educate people we have to make sure that people are, are the right to information so that they can participate effectively in the democratic process it's an honor and a privilege to formally declare the book democracy works rewiring politics to africa's advantage duly launched thank you very much